Hi guys and gals, Al Smith here. Today we're going to talk about uh, how you handle uh, uh, four level preempt by your opponents. Okay, and how you use the, the takeout and the double and variance of the takeout double to describe your hand. Okay, uh, to begin with, uh, I recommend that you use the takeout double through and including four spades. A lot of people say like through three spades or they say through four hearts. I recommend you do it all the way through four spades. Good players are not going to preempt at the four level unless they are really confident it's going to yield them the best score by getting in your face and obstructing your bidding. So they're making that mental calculation to say, well, if you're vulnerable and they're not vulnerable, they can go down three. And they're probably only going to do that if they're 70 to 80 percent sure that they're only going to go down three. So, you know, it really is not a lot of value of uh, not uh, using the takeout doubles through four spades. OK, how to handle the uh, 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 takeouts varies depending on whether the opponent's bid was natural or artificial. I'll give you a little bit more detail on that in a minute. And which suit was bid, because it's going, you know, what the different doubling approaches or uh, takeout double approaches are going to be is going to vary based upon the four level, the suit that was preempted at the four level. Okay, and there's really three types of, of bids that you can make after an opponent's four level preempt. You can do a natural bid of a new suit, you can do a three suit takeout double, or you can do a two suit takeout. So it gives you a lot of capabilities of describing the various shaped hands that you might have. Okay, now one of the biggest questions that come up is, should you bid over a four level preempt? Well, that's kind of a difficult question, but, okay, what I recommend is that you use the two, three, four losing trick count method to determine whether you're strong enough for you to bid at the four level with, uh, based upon the vulnerability, okay? It's gonna take some time to get used to, to using that in this particular situation. But that'll give you a good feel of the relative strength of your hand and any risk that's involved in overcalling at the four level. Now, another thing that's not so obvious is, do you need a good score? Okay, remember you're playing in a match and the overall results of the match are going to determine whether you win or lose if it's a team game or how you place in a pairs game. So if you need a good score, be more aggressive. Okay, uh, don't let the opponents push you around. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a really tough judgment call, but it's something you're going to have to evaluate and think about and develop your skill in that particular area. So let's get into it. All right, now, again, it's going to vary depending on what suit is bid. So let's assume the open uh, opponent preempts four clubs. All right, now, Four clubs, based upon the opponent's uh, system, can either be natural or artificial. Now, I actually like use uh, NAMIETS here. So four clubs is an artificial bid that says I've got, uh, I, I'm preempting in hearts. I've got minimum opening points. And the four clubs is actually a transfer to hearts. Now, note that if I had bid four hearts and I'm playing damage, it says I've got a normal uh, uh, preempt, okay? It's a way of, of, of trying, Nanyets is a way of trying to obstruct the opponents. And at the same tell, time, you tell your partner that you've got something, okay? So it has kind of a, it's got two benefits. Okay, so what are you gonna do if the opponent bids four clubs and then alerts it and tells you to transfer hearts? Well, what we know is that in terms of natural suits, you could only overcall in diamonds, spades, or clubs. You're not gonna overcall in hearts because they just said they probably have seven plus hearts. Okay, so you can do a natural suit over club, overcall of four clubs by bidding four diamonds, 
four spades, five clubs. Now, you could actually bid five diamonds, too, if you want to bid game. All right. Now, okay, so those are the natural ones. Now, you can do a two-suit takeout double. Now, this gets a little bit interesting because the takeout double in this particular situation shows that you've got diamonds and spades or spades and clubs. It doesn't show that you've got clubs or diamonds. Okay, it really doesn't make sense to push the bid to the five level unless you've got a super strong hand. And actually, you could make a five level takeout, two suit takeout double of diamonds and clubs by bidding four no trump with this particular place. I didn't put that into this particular lesson, but you could bid four no trumps. And it says, I've got clubs and diamonds, and I'm strong enough to ask you to bid at the four level. Now, remember, the opponent is preemptive. The opponent doesn't expect to make the bid. Don't make a phantom sacrifice. So if you double, it says, hey, partner, I've got diamonds and spades or spades and clubs. All right. Now, what does the advancer do after a two-suit takeout double? The advancer should bid their first three-plus card suit up the line. Okay, this way they're looking for an eight plus card bid. So if the advancer bids diamonds, four diamonds after this, and if the overcaller has diamonds, he's going to pass, he's going to bid game, or he's going to explore slam by bidding four no trump and asking for key cards. Okay, if the overcaller has spades and clubs, he's going to bid uh four spades now you notice i said he up here and she down here because i didn't want to be discriminatory okay so it bids four spades what if the advancer doesn't like spades well now the advancer can correct and bid five clubs so that's how you in essence do a two suit takeout double okay if it was a natural bid of four clubs okay they're saying they've got six plus seven plus clubs and less than or equal 11 points Okay, a natural suit over call is going to be four diamonds, four hearts, four spades. Of course, they could actually also bid five diamonds. Okay, now the double here is a three suit takeout double. Okay, so you see up here, two suits. Here, three suits. This one, because it's artificial, the hearts have been taken out of play. And this one's a three suit takeout double, indicating they've got at least uh, three plus card support and diamonds, hearts, and spades. Okay, and hopefully they got a little bit more. Okay, but they're, if they're doing a takeout and double with only a three card suit, uh, they're probably going to probably be at least four, four, maybe five, four, four, and have a pretty, pretty strong hand. So that's how you're showing a through three suit takeout double. Okay, now if the opponents preempt four diamonds, a little bit different scenario. Okay. Four diamonds using namnets is also artificial, and this is the transfer to spades. So we've taken diamonds, we've taken the spades out of play. So the natural overcalls are going to be four hearts, five clubs, and five diamonds. Notice we don't want to bid four spades knowing that the opponent's got seven plus of them. Okay. The double is a three suit takeout double. They can have to have a pretty strong hand because. You're, in essence, telling your partner to bid hearts, four hearts, five clubs, or five diamonds. Okay, but all of these things are possible. And so this is just how you, 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 uh, you extend, you, you define your hand and, and uh, present the opportunity in order to, to find the best bid. Okay, if it's a natural four diamond bid, okay, so they've got diamonds. Okay, the overcalls, the natural overcalls are four hearts, four spades, and five clubs. Okay, pretty straightforward. We all know that. That's pretty easy. Now, the double here is going to be a two-suit takeout double. And it's going to show that you've got hearts and spades. Okay, now, this is actually just like a Michaels bid, except you're saying I've got hearts and spades. And now the, the opponent, uh, the the uh, the advancer is going to pick the suit he or she wants the contract to be in and bid that suit's four hearts or four spades. 
Okay, if the opponent preempts four hearts, okay, what do we got? If it's a natural, no, I don't know any conventions where four heart preempt is artificial bid, okay, because you really don't want to push things beyond uh, 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 the, the, you know, the, the major suit game. So four hearts is almost, I, I'm going to say, is 99.9%. Uh, a natural bid. It says they've got six to seven plus heart. Now you see, I keep saying six to seven. Okay, not everybody pays attention to the norm of having seven plus cards in the suit or eight plus cards in the suit to preempt the four level. Some of us are a little bit nuts and actually will preempt the four level with a really good four uh, six card suit. Okay, a really good six card suit is just as good as a seven plus card suit. So don't make that mistake by assuming that they're always going to have seven plus cards. Just an aside, I want you to be aware of that, especially if you have to play against some crazy guy like me. Okay, so the natural overcalls are four spades, five clubs, and five diamonds. No biggie. All right, now a double here is going to again be a three suit takeout double and almost always always guarantees four plus spades because what you're really looking for is that major suit game okay now four no trump is not blackwood it is not ace asking what it is is a two suit takeout double showing that you've got clubs and diamonds. Okay, I mentioned this earlier in respect to one of the after four club, after four clubs and artificial four clubs, but I didn't put it on the slide. This is a two suit takeout double. It's kind of a, 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 a very high level unusual no trump. All right, now the final suit is that the opponents bid four spades. All right, now four spades obviously uh, you're going to have to go to the five level. Okay, so you can do a natural over call five plus five diamonds, five, spades, five hearts. Okay, now a double in this situation is a three suit takeout double and ask the dancer to bid their best, their, their longest and best suit. Okay? Just like a normal takeout double. Four no trump in this situation Again, it's a delayed alert because you don't have to alert an artificial bid above three no trump until after the auction is done. Is a two suit takeout double. And it says you've got clubs, or and or diamonds and or hearts. You've got two of those suits. Which two do you have? Well, we don't know. Okay, so how does the advancer find out so that you always find at least an eight card bid? Well, the advancer bids the first three card suit up the line. He's got three clubs, he bids three clubs. Even if he's got four or five diamonds or hearts, he bids three clubs. So if the overcaller will then pass if the bid suit is one of the two, uh, his two suits, or if it isn't, he's going to bid the next suit up the line and then the advancer is going to say, aha, I like this one or I like the other one because <clears throat> the overcaller is just guaranteed that they have probably five plus cards in these other two suits. Well, that's the extent of this particular lesson. You know, it doesn't come up a whole bunch, but it's great to have the tool in the toolkit. As you just saw on that slide, you can always get a hold of me. Uh, uh, give me a call or send me an email. I'm generally here I can respond I will I will respond so have a great day and let me yep have a great day and have fun playing bridge talk to y'all later